Hello, good day. <laughs> uh, in the Creative Labor Facebook group, um, I'm going to speak English because it's uh, not not because it's easier, but because a lot more people can actually enjoy uh, the the content of uh, what I'm going to share. And today's topic is what is reflex anyway. And um, I'm going live actually because Gary came with a new term, reflexive realities. And it was super confusing. It's actually, actually a part of one of the body processes of excess consciousness, melting of our reflexive realities. And uh, and the name of the body process goes further. further. And a lot of people thought that reflexive realities had to do with the reflection. So there is a big difference between reflection and reflex. And I would like to have a look at that. And I would like to also have a look at where we are using reflexes to work work against us. There are a lot of reflexes that, that we need and that our body has built in and that help us function and help our bodies function. And then there are a lot of reflexes that we have learned that are um, working against us, that are uh, blocking us from achieving something greater in relationships with money, with our body and with different things. So um, if you have any questions or uh, comments or uh, anything that, we, that you would like to know, you can always uh, put them in the comments uh, under this video. I will um, see it and I can react to it. And um, uh so let's uh i'm looking for the for the video <laughs> so that i see it if you uh if you react and now now i have it in front of me um so reflex reflection was the difference uh and what is reflexive reality uh the way gary introduced it and uh, used it in the name of this body process um reflection is when you see some uh, when you see yourself or somebody in the mirror when you see yourself in the um in the glass of your window when you see um uh trees uh in the on the um, on the lake on the water of the lake uh that's the reflection reflex is the way uh, you or your body automatically react to something that happens so when you go to doctor and they check your reflexes, they they take a hammer and they hit one of the one of the bones uh, right under your knee and your and your if your reflexes are okay, if your if your body is functioning well, then your leg goes up, and that's reflex. Um, another another example of reflex is you you touch something that that is hot like the stove or something, and your head. Uh, your hand goes away uh, naturally from the from the heat. Um, it doesn't stay there. Uh, if if your reflexes wouldn't work, if your body wouldn't let your um, brain know uh, there is a danger, something something is um, burning, and your uh, brain wouldn't let the, your hand know. Oh, hey, you have to pull away. Uh, then you would have a big problem. So there are reflexes that are really, really useful, and that our body just functions uh, functions with. When when you have something um, uh, in your uh, in your mouth behind the, another reflex is to swallow um, stuff stuff, uh, and that sometimes it's helpful, sometimes sometimes it's not. Um, so that's another that's another example of natural reflex. And then how many reflexes did we create based on our experiences or based on what we have observed? Um, if, for example, our parents were really poor, um, functioning, poorly functioning with money, and our basic point of view is, I don't have money, uh, then the reflex might be whenever you get paid to go and... Um, spend everything just to create the basic point of view I, well i don't have money it's not my reality to have money and i know like i know people who actually do it the, the great example would be my former sister-in-law who uh she grew up in the in the family where there there was no money and then actually she was making kind of good money and every time she got paid she would go 
from her work, she would go to the to the city and just spend it, just spend most of it anyway. Um, so that's not such that's not a very handy reflex when you want to build um, when you want want to build wealth when you want to become somebody who has money, somebody who can off, uh, afford things that are valuable. You have to um, be willing to have money for a while to be able to afford uh, stuff that has value, uh, and that that wasn't part of her reality. Um, and then maybe you know people who you tell them something and they always react in this in a certain way, um, uh, and it seems like they don't have a choice about their reaction. Um, maybe you know people maybe you have observed when you were small I, I remember when my parents were arguing when i was small it was it was like ping pong it was so automatic nobody was present nobody was really um nobody was really um aware of what is go i mean none of them was really aware of what was going on and the reactions were flying uh both ways uh purely on a reflex there was no choice in in uh, uh, their universe about okay what would create more here how can i respond so that we create something different and that's how we can function and that's uh that's something that would create something totally different i ha i had a friend uh who every time that uh he was just a tiny bit uncomfortable Every time that he was presented with something that he misunderstood as as something against him, it wasn't even uh, pointed against him. But every time he understood something as as a bit uncomfortable, he would um, uh, he would just leave and he would be gone, uh, and and you wouldn't know about him. Um, that was also a totally reflexive uh, reality. Um, that that of course if we have stuff like that in uh, communication in relating it prevents us prevents us from creating something different it prevent, prevents us from having people in our life that will be a contribution um i'm amazed at how uh, after 23 years with my husband uh him being very introvert and me being very oh, <laughs> crazy we can still um create together contribute to each other and our relationship actually is getting better and better uh, because these reflexes don't really have a place in our being together there is a lot of choice there is there was a choice to raise the kids first now the kids are big uh, they are nine almost 19 in in a couple of weeks uh, they are 19 and uh, and 14 and now um we are choosing to create different stuff like we were actually i have a great experience from um, from last sunday when i knew i had to uh, I, I had to re replant uh, almost all the plants all the ficuses in our living room and that's so much work because they are huge <laughs> they are overgrowing our our space and um I knew there will be that that will be a lot of work, and I was like, oh, I have to do it. Um, <laughs> and then, and then, uh, uh, I don't know how it happened, but we started to do it together, and it was so much. Um, it was it was actually so much ease, and we even had fun. And my husband doesn't laugh a lot, but he was he was even laughing, and we. Um, shared memories like um, he found this. Um, he found this. Uh, maybe maybe it has nothing to do with the topic, but it's so funny. Uh, he found this bamboo st stick that he wanted to put um, in one of the pots so that the ficus can. Uh, all our ficuses are going <laughs> all directions. So he wanted to put a bamboo stick in the pot so that the bamboo can um, can be tied to it and can grow up. And um, and there was a there was a lot of black tape um, around this bam bamboo stick that that uh, that he brought, and he was like, oh, so this was a pro project of Eddie uh, like years ago. This was this was his project to finish my finish up my tape, and I started to laugh because I know 
Eddie was Eddie. That's that's the youngest. That's he's fourteen now. But he was always so creative. But we we never knew. He he was always asking for stuff like this, like for the for the black tape, and he really needed it. And then he just put it around the stick, and that was it. That was it. Or he asked me for um for you have this stuff to put uh, posters on a wall, like these little uh, little square um, white things to to put your posters on a wall if you don't wanna. Um, put pins through it once we, he asked me for a new pack of these uh that i had for my uh for when i travel and put the like posters uh, of my um classes uh on a wall in the in the space where i facilitate and he really needed it and then uh, then two hours later i came in his room and and he just made a big ball big gray ball uh out of all of them and that that was the project for that day so we were uh, getting memories like that and we were um i think we are getting old because <laughs> we were really laughing and uh, happy uh and of course the plants were happy and so we were perceiving the happiness of the plants um which my husband wouldn't admit but that was that was um really clear that that we are like in this space of gifting the plants, what they uh, what they need and what they were asking for and receiving from them and also receiving from each other. So uh, that wouldn't be possible if we were stuck in a reflexive reality because no, no relationship is easy. No relationship is uh, without bumps and without um, difficulties. And uh, to stay 23 years with me or <laughs> Say 23 years with Daniel, it, it, for sure, it, it is an achievement, and and it creates and it creates a lot of ease for both of us in different uh, in, in different er areas of our life. Uh, so, what if we do have a choice? What if we don't have to react the same way as everybody around us? And what if we don't have to copy the same reflexes? Other, people's, uh, other people are using to limit their life and to limit their possibilities. And we don't have to do it with money. We don't have to do it with, um, uh, with substances, with food. Uh, how many people think that you have to eat breakfast, lunch, and dinner? And how many people eat breakfast, lunch, and dinner just because everybody does it? But is your body hungry? Does your body wanna uh, wanna really wanna have food? Uh, how many people in the in the past um, three years? How many people got vaccinated just because everybody got vaccinated? These also are reflexive uh, that we uh, copy from uh, from other people, um, and we try to fit uh by having the same reflexes of uh as as other people do so that we meet their expectations so but so that we react in the same way so the big topic uh in excess consciousness in the past uh months is of course um uh big five presumptive realities needs of reactive realities and uh, the other three elements that that you get when if you attend the foundation and this body process that that I'm talking about um, is melting reflexive realities uh, that create reactive state of being. So when we have these reflexes, this, these automatic re reactions that we don't have any choice about, that we don't ask any question about, that we uh, just blindly follow automatically, uh, they create certain reaction. And that, that's what Gary means by reactive state on planet Earth. Uh, we react in a certain way. Anytime we react, we cannot create anything. We don't have a choice. Uh, reaction already means that we, um, that we are uh, outside of the creative possibilities that we would have if we would have a look at, okay, so this person is saying this, this person does this. How do I want to respond to it? Do I want to respond? Do I need to respond? What kind of possibilities do I have here to uh, deal with this energy? How can this contribute to me? How, how can this work in my advantage? Um, and I see that there is a comment and it's uh, hello, nice day. Hi, Susanna. <laughs> it's nice to 
it's nice to see that you are listening. So uh, for for anybody who would like to learn a new body process uh, uh, next week, Wednesday, I'm facilitating this this new body process class from I think seven o'clock. Yes, seven o'clock till ten o'clock. There are still three spots. Um, this time there are still uh, three uh, three spots left. And uh, yeah, uh, how, what what kind of contribution can it be to our bodies to assist them to with bars with body processes to eliminate this kind of um, um, automatic response systems, automatic reflexes, so that more and more and more we get into we get that we have a choice we get that we actually can create our life and our reality and we start um more and more a function from function from questions and ask for awareness and um include this awareness in our life um and I know it's very easy to copy the behavior of, of others or to listen to others and what they say and uh, repeat the same as if it is um, so, because everybody is thinking that, everybody is saying that. Uh, but that doesn't create our life as greater. That doesn't really uh contribute to us having something different than what everybody else is having so if you want to have what everybody else is having uh with the uh, with the uh, health problems and money problems and uh complaints and uh then uh, uh well keep your reflexes <laughs> i yesterday evening i was facilitating an hour-long zoom in check uh, on the on the topic of space and the most questions that came in actually was were how to keep my space in the family setting, how to create my space when I gave all my space away to others, how uh, how to keep space with difficult people, and why? Because we so often use reflexes in this situation, and and we are used to, for example. We are used to making uh, making ourselves smaller, so we always do it, always do it, always do it, and then it looks like we don't even have any other choice. So that's what that's what we were looking at yesterday. We just have to claim our own uh, energy. We, we just have to claim our own possibilities if we want to create something different. And one way to do it, of course, um, getting your bars run uh, is an amazing way. To stay in the creation and not to create a lot of problem problems and and difficulties and another way is starting to contribute to our bodies um, and this body process for sure is uh, is a great contribution. I give myself body processes almost daily uh, just before I go sleep, like MTVSS or uh, uh, facelift uh, or other energies, whatever my body is asking for. And um, recently, I started to work out, and my body uh, is also switching body processes during the workout. And um, yeah, bodies are amazing. I didn't know um, I didn't know I could have so much fun uh, working out. So, uh, what else is what else is possible? What else can we find out when we when we stop functioning from reflexive realities and uh, and actually begin to function more and more as a question in all areas of our lives with our bodies my body was telling me so long that it wanted to start to move and i was like <laughs> and when i started my body got so happy and i thought well if I, when i start maybe i will do it once one once every i don't know couple of days my body will be tired. Not at all. My body wants more and more and more. So, um, really happy. And what contrib what contribution can that be to other bodies as well? Because my body at this moment is like really awake and really happy. Also, I'm preparing myself to facilitate a three day body class together with Dr. Anthony Mathis, which is for me a really <gasps> exciting uh, thing to um, to have. 
So if, if, uh, if anybody uh, or anybody feels invited for the body process class on 6 September, that's Wednesday next week from 7 till 10, um, we have spots and uh, I'm looking forward to it. Um, have a great day and I will, I will come uh, maybe more often in this group now that I um, realize that I can facilitate in English here and that it's also a contribution for many people who already follow me in the Czech Republic and understand the English, uh, I can do it more often. And uh, what else is possible? Uh, um, oh, and one thing for, especially for all the Dutch, um, all the Dutch uh, people who are doing access yesterday, I got an updated um, a list uh, of all the possibilities where you can exchange bars or body processes all uh, all around the netherlands uh and i i, I placed it it's now in the access consciousness netherlands uh, facebook group um all the way up uh so you can find whatsapp group or maybe some telegram uh group chats um where you can ask uh, about uh, swapping possibilities and um we had the list and it was so old and almost uh, half of the cases uh, were not active anymore, like people who, who used to organize swaps and and uh, don't anymore. So so this is a completely new list. And if you have um, uh, if you know somebody else who is uh, who is having um, on WhatsApp or on Telegram and an app where people can um, join, then uh, you can let me know or you can uh, let Anton Kleinsman know and uh, we will be updating it regularly and I'm happy that we have this opportunity because everybody who learns uh, access or who, who learns body processes, of course, it's great to know how to do it. And it's amazing to start to exchange these energies and, and use them in your life. So uh, I see March is uh, watching uh, <laughs> a big hug and uh, what else is possible? Uh, see you next time. I'm looking forward to it. Bye-bye. <laughs>